Hello everyone and welcome back. Today's video we're going to show how to replace your factory mount that you get with the Phantom 3 standard controller. We're going to replace that with the factory mount for the Inspire 1. Um, the benefits to doing this is you're going to get um, basically a tablet mount that extends out further. It's going to give you more room to install a larger size tablet such as this, which is the iPad Mini 2. Uh, it does extend out a little bit further to hold a uh, larger size tablet like the Air, for example. And it's quite a bit sturdier too. The factory mount here is just kind of flimsy. It's all plastic. Um, just kind of crappy and it doesn't really uh, give you the functionality that you probably were hoping you would have out of it. Um, you can get this tablet mount uh, in several places online. Uh, it is a genuine DJI part for the Inspire one. I got this for about $30 on Amazon.com. Comes with the mount with the aluminum bracket on the bottom here. If you get the tablet mount for just the Phantom 3, it's going to look and function very similar, but this mount piece, this bracket on the bottom here, is going to be made out of plastic rather than aluminum, which is uh, going to give you the sturdiness that you'll want out of that. It also comes with this little nut. I don't know if you can see that. Um, that's going to go through this uh, lanyard connector here. And so it's basically going to bolt the bottom portion on right there. And we're going to have to drill a hole in the center of the plastic here to make room for this threaded piece that's going to fit on right here. I believe this threaded portion is a 3 8 16. Um, I know you can get some threaded nuts online that you can insert into the plastic here. Uh, I had a tough time finding them. Uh, most of them were ones that are more or less designed to be used into metal, and there's a tool you need for that. Um, I think for mine, I'm just going to thread it right into the plastic and see how it goes. I also considered using a tap to thread this metal portion here, maybe using a, a nut that can thread onto that just to prevent it from coming out. But um, it looks like a lot of people have had pretty good luck just threading it right into the plastic, so I think we're going to give that a shot first. So the first thing we'll have to do is take the remote control apart. There's going to be four Phillips head screws on the back here we need to take off. There's one at each corner. So let's go ahead and take those off and take a look at the inside to see what we have to do next. Alright, so to go ahead and drill this hole, what we're going to have to do is just kind of line this up. You're not going to be able to get the screw in yet because this is sticking up too far. So we're just going to get it lined up pretty close. Make sure that it's centered. And we're going to put a mark not at the center. But we're going to put a mark right where the bottom here meets. The reason we're going to do that is because after you drill a hole and this piece swings down, it's going to want to move this way a little bit. So putting the mark at the bottom right here is going to ensure that that hole lines up centered when this goes through. So let's go ahead and drill that hole. So once you get your hole drilled through here, you'll notice it drills right into this bit of plastic reinforcement here. Um, I'm going to go ahead with the razor and take away some of that plastic there just to help clean it up. Okay, and here you can see with the razor blade how I cleaned up that little bit of reinforcement there and gave it some more room to, uh, for that piece of metal to come through. The hole that I drilled here was a quarter inch. I started off with a little bit of a smaller bit and worked my way up to that. So, quarter inch. Alright, so I got the hole drilled out and I got it installed. Um, I found that this drill bit, which is, I don't know if you can see this. Um, try and get it to focus here. It's a 7.30 seconds. 7.30 seconds. Um, that's what I ended up using for the last time drilling through it. I started off with about an eighth of an inch or so just to make sure that my hole was centered up. And as long as you mark the line on the back side of there, like I showed earlier, uh, the hole lined up absolutely perfectly. Um, threading this nut into the plastic was pretty difficult. It really fits tight, but I'd rather have it fit tight than too loose. I had to kind of push down and, and crank in at the same time. And I used a, a pair of pliers with a piece of cloth in between so I didn't damage this up any more than, uh, than I already did. But um, I mean, it, it fits in here really strong. I think it's 
going to be just fine unless you're abusing it in some way. Um, so on the inside here, you can see, well, let me get my camera the right way. Um, you can see in here that it actually fits in pretty snug. Come on. There we go. The threads just kind of pop through the base there. And taking away some of that plastic there um, gives it plenty of room to sit comfortably inside. So let's go ahead and put the back cover back on this and we'll be finished. Um, if you want to put a little bit of hot glue in here just to make sure that it doesn't come loose, you could. Um, personally, I don't think it's going to come loose, but it, it couldn't hurt to put a little bit in. So go ahead and put it back together and we'll see how it holds uh, the tablet now. All right, with it all put back together, uh, the iPad Mini 2 now fits it real nice. I can still extend this up a little bit further to fit a larger tablet in. Um, it feels really sturdy. Um, I'm actually pretty impressed as to how well that worked out. Um, just threading it right into the plastic um, seems to work real nice. Um, I mean, if it, it fits great. It fits great. Works. Looks good. Um, definitely did exactly what I wanted it to do. Other than having to drill a hole into your remote, which obviously is permanent. Um, seems pretty easy to use. You could always replace it at some point if you had to by threading that uh, back out and taking this little screw out right here. But looks good and it works great. So go ahead, give it a shot. I think you'll like it. Uh, wasn't too hard to install. Probably took me about a half an hour or so. And that was just taking my time and also uh, trying to record this at the same time. So good luck, guys. Thanks for watching.